podcasts, and I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm going to be regularly broadcasting videos this week. Um, different th themes. This is a theme. This is something I haven't focused on. I haven't focused on before on this channel, and it's going to be a, a preview of um, a preview of a language learning uh, book called. It's called. Let's see. Uh, easy step. Easy French step by step. Now it'd be good if I could sort of find a way to have the camera as well as the images in one. So I'm going to figure out how to do that, that uh, in subsequent videos. This is a preview of this book. As, as the um, as the description says, uh, I am going to be teaching a pupil French. And I had this book recommended to, um, to me by various reviews on on uh, Amazon.com. Now, the, the thing I'm going to point out is that I'm not I'm a polyglot, not an omniglot. And um, I realise you would think that I would uh, have this sort of this edge when it comes to learning other languages. Well, of course, we have the the edge is the fact that we have. We have the internet. We have sort of access to people of all kinds of all co various cultures, creeds, denominations, and such. But there is there is um like everything else, there is so much information. You have to be rather discerning. Now, I uh, I learned another language at, uh, in a state of um, I'm gonna call, I'm going to call it rather. Rather ostentatiously, um, accelerated accelerated immersion, they call it, which means living in the country. Now, of course, uh, you have I've met um, I've met expats who haven't at all been affected by this accelerated immersion. Now, accelerated immersion. Did I coin that phrase myself? It sounds it sounds so good that I can't have invented it myself. Is that um you you have um you have hopefully you'll have uh, a burning interest. You'll have good. You have situations that really it becomes pra pra a practical necessity to learn the other language. And you have a lot of um, opportunities to learn it, and there are, there are. Uh, but as I noticed, not I'm not talking about French here. I'm not teaching a person French. I am, in a way, I'm almost in the same position. I, I studied French in um, what we call secondary school. I think you American Americans and American the Americanized school system uh, that quite many countries have adopted they call it junior high or something like that <clears throat> you um you uh, you have you it is expected for there to be a uh, to have a few hours a week learning a foreign language um what i noticed is i can't blame the schools completely what i noticed is um, that you are, you're in a class, and this this also this also can be experienced in in sort of state of um, quote unquote uh, accelerated immersion where you're living in the country. You you have you um, you can fall prey to only learning as quickly as the slowest student stroke pupil in the class, right? So um, I um, I didn't I didn't learn as as much I I was I was on top of French <laughs> at the time and I I was I liked it I liked the fact that the classroom was clean and I think at one point I was sort of fairly a fairly decent in fairly decent advanced beginner bordering on intermediate I I. I learned a great deal. I forgot a great deal. I'm not. I, I would not. Wouldn't say my French is um, 
adequate uh, uh, for anything but survival. I couldn't have a conversation in French, right? So when you are in the process, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get to the book. Okay, I've got it. I've got the PDF here, right? And I've actually bought this book for my pupil, and I intend to buy it for myself. So this is this isn't pirating. It's it's freely available, and this is um. So I'm gonna be learning from a. a Roughly 400 page book, uh, and it's it, what's important is it's it's um created by a a um a group that sound very respected. The I think it's the N, is it the NTC, but it says here M M G H. It's published by um it's published by McGraw Hill, and it's called Master and now. Read the titles, right? Look at the. I, I'm going to share a screen with you because that is far more, far more broadcastorial. Right, so let's share the screen with you and um, your entire screen, um, an application window. That'll be that one. So I'm going to share a PDF on this, um, on this thing here. All right. I'm going to figure out how to have my 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 impressive visage on the um, on screen at the same time. Okay, in fact, I'm going to muck around with this so you you there'll be a share share screen will be the entire screen. Um, your entire screen, and I'm going to I'm going to you're going to have the the heart-stopping excitement of my um my um figuring out how to, getting my own camera image up as i'm looking at this so let's um let's go full screen here and children you go full screen i believe by pressing f11 there we are so easy french step by step master high frequency high frequency grammar uh the, the 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 implications of that term will be discussed at a later date and i think it's suggesting that you 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 will uh it'll bore it's it's suggestive of bordering on uh high high intensity uh full immersion i um day to day all day 100 percent learning uh almost as if you would be living in the country you, you can't you can't expect you can't expect that much from a book and they will promise these these courses promise a lot and um many of these courses they um they um the, the producers of the courses they earn their money by people taking up the course and giving up before they before the the um before the uh before the time when they are allowed to sort of change their minds right so it says learn french as you can see on the screen learn french in 16 quick and easy steps let's think the quick and easy steps um now I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna go through this page by page because I haven't I have not read this book. It's the first time I've I have I've seen this much of the front cover. But I, I read the reviews on Amazon.com, and yet yeah, back to being discerning. You look at people, you you read uh, how far they have got into this book. Have they compared this with other other language courses? It, it does. It can it can either it can reduce points. It can add points if they are polyglots, if they are experienced language learners. Um, now I learned a second language outside of the country. I learned quite a bit. I, I you but you master the language. I I'm curious how people master languages or become pretty damn efficient if they don't live in the country. And it's um because people you know people even even myself I I I love this thing I find nothing more interesting than you know stubbornly 
stubbornly taking on a seemingly challenging thing. Languages, languages are, are fun, but it, it, if, if you're learning them the wrong way, it, it's um, you you just come back and you, you realize, oh, I, I've forgotten everything I've learned. And there are so many so many techniques that people um, say work. So achieve grammar mastery, grammar mastery, with two hundred exercises and readings. Um, so what are the readings? I think it suggests that is that's that's a good thing. The readings that is very interesting because that suggests you actually will you'll be reading um, not just sort of conversational pieces, but articles. And that's it. That's interesting because if you learn to read news articles, you, you're always you're always like a, a, um, a short reach from a a secondhand newspaper or magazine. Now, when I now one of the things that motivated me to learn several things, and this is why I use the word I use the word um, you say inter, intensive immersion. Is that I had to learn, I, and I I didn't want to be made a fool of by bureaucrats. And when you're in the country, you have all of these. And you're living in the country, you have all of these hurdles to jump over. Quite a few people managed to get by without learning any of it. And I, and I, I, I um, excuse me here, in certain countries, uh, such as the Scandinavian countries, where there is a great great amount of um. Uh, English fluency. It's it it it's pretty. It pretty much is the second language of various countries. There is a good argument if you just want to work for not learning the language. But what I experienced is if you really if you you want to find work, you have to you you want to find work, and you aren't, don't have this amazing this sort of technical degree or something. You um and you aren't and you aren't aren't going into sort of a, the, the, the construction fields, you are F, F star C, K, E, D. <laughs> if you, you, um, you don't learn, don't know it to us. You don't know it's a sort of an intermediate, you don't know it's at an intermediate level and you get taken advantage of, right? You get these people pretend, pretending they don't, they don't know English, right? And they do just, just to have one over on you. Sorry, sorry, Sweden. As 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 much as I I, I um admire the Swedish native the Swedish natives, the bureaucrats do this in the employment agency. They're, they're I think it's changed somewhat, but at the time, about twelve years ago, they were cold bastards. They were taught to be because it, <laughs> there ain't no jobs. Um, so um. So uh, gain confidence in your conversation skills, even if you're an absolute beginner. Very good. Now, uh, does that, will a book provide you with that? Uh, the confidence thing, that is, that, that is hard for people who are um, advanced, intermediate, semi-fluent um, speakers. That confidence thing. You, 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 we are often never as good as we can be in in practice. My 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 Swedish is my Swedish is in a state of attrition. My English isn't though, as you can tell. Uh, master, blah blah. I've seen that already. All right. Uh, the blurb page. The work is provided as is. Blah 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 blah. blah. So it's less than four hundred pages. Let's let's read a little of what what is in this because I'm comparing this also with quite a few damned good Swedish books, and I'm going to do I'm going to find the Swedish the Swedish books that I learned from. I might even find this. There are a few uh, grammar books not not in English language for learning Swedish. Now, absolutely, they absolutely put. The grammar books in other four other languages to shame. Great, great. I I did. There are some books you can learn from. Uh, they, they don't believe the ne don't believe the negative comments. If you are looking at a book, even when you're sitting on the toilet, 
it, it's so enjoyable. The the the, the, the about the <laughs> no, no. So first elements of French. Um 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 right. I ah I wasn't supposed to be going. I was supposed to be on on the contents page. All right. What what ah. Damn, this is not how you use use PDF viewers. I'm on page 17. I didn't want to do that. Uh, well, uh, so it starts out as they usually do. Let's not read the let's not read the the appendix, the the um, abbreviations that, that thing. So it starts with the s descriptions of the vowels. Yes, you do want that. Um, I do. I do know the. I do now. Let's look at how they. Let's look at how they describe the act. The um, pronunciations. The the um, yeah, accents and such. Vowels are shown here, both with and without accent marks. An important part of French spelling. Oddly enough, a little bit of insight. I know that the average French person. When they're using things like Facebook, they're not adding the accents to the letters. And that can be a problem. That can be a little bit of a problem if you want to write it properly. Yeah, basically, the um, the average French person doesn't know their native language or doesn't use their native language properly, like what I do. So you have these. You, you have so you have first you've a the three a's. And there's an a with uh, a pointed accent above it. Uh, and and oddly enough, as I'm reading these words, I can see how the accents are. It's probably a good idea for you to use them. Now, <clears throat> getting slightly technical, uh, you have the a ah, a as we know. But you have an and you have the the downward pointing accent, and which I know from my vast experience of stuff that really isn't that it really isn't that important. The downward pointing accent in French. Well, I learned French, uh, and I'm, I'm referring back to what I learned. And and Eng English people, English people, English speaking people, come on. We, we've written these words before. We know how they're supposed to be pronounced, and we we have these accents on 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 borrowed words. So you've downward pointing accent. You know that slash. I, I I wish I could highlight this. You can see. I need a better pointer. Um, is called a grave accent. So la. Uh, rather than ka. Cafe. So, so the one is bright. So the grave, as the as the title suggests, is rather descending in a way. Now I'm not sure about the pointed accent. Whether it's just a uh, you want to say an aesthetic thing, maybe something that's been left over from from more antiquated forms of French. You you see this pointed accent above the a and the e. And I wonder, is it is it how what? So we have, so let's read this. With few exceptions, final consonants of French words are silent. The final consonants of French words are silent. That is a tricky thing in French. So, so you have ça, la, pâté. Rather than, and, and so the could be that the pointed, the arrow type accent, it, it, it it's almost like a melodic symbol. So it's pate, 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 rather than pate, which you would if that 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 accent were not above that a, it would be like that. It wouldn't wouldn't be the same. Wouldn't be wouldn't sound the same. Now this this is very very important. This is what this is. I would say all of it could be. now. Uh, so gra gramma uh, gramma uh, grammarians might disagree. And I'm a grammarian. If you're going to learn, like, let's so say you're going to learn four 
sentences per well, right? The the um, you know, think people native speakers are are, are not all, but very many are are lazy, are very lazy. We say very lazy people. They their their ears, their brain is attuned to um, certain sounds. So it has to be as not necessarily you, you, having an accent is fine. The melody and the pronunciation of of the words is pretty damn important. It's more important in some languages than others. In French, we we are we're very, yeah we're very somewhat accustomed to them. But I've I've heard people really really pronouncing these words appallingly. Of often. Often it seems to be Ameri uh, American Anglophones. Um, so a AI, pretty simple, means A, and they. I'm noticing that they that they they're not writing the um, they're not writing um, the what was the word I'm looking for? Phonetics. That's it. They're not writing phonetics. So this is for uh, not. It, it may be, that, of course, <laughs> polyglots, language enthusiasts, won't be won't be pushed off by this, but it has to have mass appeal. But if I were going to be really, really picky, no, I'm not going to be. I would have the phonetics beside them because learning phonetics probably probably it it it, it will improve your French learning considerably. It just makes things easier. If I was to be a, te a technical ass, I would I would have the the I would have people learning not not French as it's read. I'd have in the beginning people learning French in pure phonetics. Why don't we write English in pure phonetics? Well, you know how it is. It's that the um the best system isn't the most readily accepted. I mean, wow, I mean, in, in the United Kingdom, we used imperial. We still still use imperial. Most people use imperial measurements. They're crap. Um, so, uh, uh, or, 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 and or. So the first one is, the first word is, uh, water. The second word is um, the second is um, second two are, are conjunctions, right? So you have uh, ato, uh, uh, auto, jun, or bateau. Now, I wouldn't write er uh, like this. At all. Oh. Auto. Jean. Oh. Mm. I think it confuses things. Even at this early stage, the, the neglect of phonetics confuses things. Hey, eh? I, 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 I digressed. Um, there are soft signs and hard signs. In various languages, so I'm going to presume that the arrow type accent is a um, a soft sign. And then we have a pre parler parles mes et but mes would be me et et. Now I would say et. That isn't correct. It's et, et. It's more like eight, et. Down with accent. Oh, these three, the e's. Oh, right. Chevre, tête, which means head. Belle, appel, effet, effet. Uh, e in one syllable words and even uh, u, uh, le, ke, de, pe. 
it says written as a. Ah. It's not pa. It's a. Uh. A. Uh? <laughs> so the, in this this neglect of phonetics, the confusing things. Let's go past this. It's just going to annoy me. And I, and I I I insist with with many of these books, the attempts to to simplify. It can can have the opposite can have the opposite effect. So this is why. But I'm I have a good recommendation. This is a good that this is a pretty decent book. Uh, one of the best the best book the best basic best book for, for beginners. So the pronunciations. Um, right. It's so uh, consonants. Many consonant sounds. For example. Closely resemble the English counterparts. Great. That's because most most English most English lang most English words are borrowed from French. So pronounce the consonants forward in your mouth, and always try to avoid make, making plosive sounds, puffs of air, particularly with the b, p, and t. Uh, that, that would be a, that would be accomplished by by um, with the lips. You so, so watch French people's lips. <laughs> here are several. <clears throat> here are several consonant sounds specific to French. Some variants. Don't you hate it when YouTubers start to think they're funny? <laughs> Some variants are the same as in English, for example, hard C, K, <laughs> hard G, um, uh, and H, K, K. Sounds, sounds not listed here are pronounced nearly like English, as they would be in English. You do get some quite quite um, clumsy usage. You do get some rather clumsy usage of English in some pretty decent language learning books. I've, I've seen. Um, so you, 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 in, in many or many of these books, um, apart from the, apart from uh, there, are, there are good things, there are bad things, and and what you you, you do, and this is why it's good to learn. As I'll be learning with my pupil, you you make adaptions to these books. Um, and yeah, and, uh, so words, uh, words which um, uh, letters and combinations C C before A O U, where a consonant is pronounced as a K. Right, okay, let's let's get let's go forwards. Right, pronunciation tips. <laughs> when you speak, remember to keep the vowel sounds and all syllables short and clear. <laughs> in in languages, what right, damn damned foreign languages, it's these short words that will s s catch you out. Syllables in French are considered part of an utterance, not part of a word. Syllables start with a consonant. Les idées, les idées, les les idées. Yes, I've, I've noticed. I've had French lessons quite recently. They, they're stuck together. Les idées. Does that work? That non. It can work sometimes. The non. Uh, phonetical approach can work. Lazy day, lazy day. Uh, but melody, melody, you just have to listen to get to get, get it right. Vous allez, vous. So this is, this is I say vous allez, and they and non phonetics say vous allez, and you sound like an idiot. Not using phonetics. Vous allez. 
words in f words in a phrase and successive words in a sentence are usually linked yes they are and that can be can be confusing but also also it's quite um quite economic economical um because you you don't have to pause so much english is full of pauses and words that have breaks in them that really don't need them french sounds French sounds, especially for the gargled R, R, you don't have to roll your R's, it's, it's an R, which I like. I cannot, I find rolling R's quite horrible. A farther for, uh, forward in mouth than in English. Uh, yeah. Um, there is a slight fall or descending intonation in the last word of a sentence or syllable of a word. Café. Votre. Uh, syndicat initiative. In yes, no questions, intonation rises slightly. Uh, to arriver? Why do they need to explain that? Because we do that in English. <laughs> Don't do that in Russian, though. I learned some Russian. It, it's different in Russian. The, the rise is, is, is a different place. It's really, really hard to learn. So I couldn't be bothered. Couldn't be bothered learning Russian in the end. It tends to fall slightly at the end of information questions. It tends to fall slightly at the end of information questions. Comment allez-vous? Does. They're right. I remember that from some time. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Hello, good morning. Uh, miss, madame, ma'am, sir. Ah, yeah, yeah, ah, ha, ha, yeah, yeah, something I've remember, I, I, I've, yeah, yeah, okay, salut, ça va, again, it's that rising intonation, I wonder if in, 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 you know, modern millennials speaking French, whether they have employed this horrible, um, horrible affectation, of um, speaking, saying every every sentence as if it's a question, speaking up like, just in case people people might not listen to what they're saying. I wonder if that has been, if that if these if, if it becomes even more esoteric. Sava bien, sava mal. Sava bien, sava bien, sava mal, mal, mal. It sounds like malediction. Mal, a malady, feeling bad. So Sava, now, now, now. When I learned this in school, it would have been helpful had they given us the exact translation of Sava, which means it is going. So, it is so damn, damn close to other, it's other, other. Romance languages, va, 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 vam, you know, vamos, vamos. It's this thing, it's this Latin, you know, Latin derivations. So it, it's going well. It's not. So you can learn these irritating, um, irritating small talk in a foreign language so quickly. Comment allez-vous? Come on. Oh, I, I didn't learn this one in school. This one, come on, that too. Who are you? They, they, we we learned, we, we were always taught to say, oh, what is your name? Um, or no, come on, that, come on, that too. Come on, that too. So it's, 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 you have to stick these words together. They want these gaps, not come on, that too. It's come on, that too. How are you? And it has in brackets. Very good. This is very good. In very good. In in brackets. 
familia. Famili familia. So what do they call the one? The pole. Polite. Yeah, pole is for, of course, pole is for polite. So the polite forms, and they are impolite forms. Now, you read in pretty damn modern books, the, the, the official learn, learn, learn them quick and put them to work books in Sweden. Stuff in the basic Swedish that nobody, people don't say, people don't say this. So, but I have an insight in French that foreign speakers may wrongly uh, uh, take away the, the polite forms like bonjour, madame, bonjour, monsieur, because we don't say hello, sir, hello, madam, hello, miss, hello, sir, hello, master, hello, ma'am, but they, they, it is complete, it's common, it is common courtesy. It's, it, I mean, it's in common courtesy. I mean, it isn't thought about. It is not. It's. It's very. Um, it is not. It is very. It isn't. Um, it isn't. Um, it's quite odd for people not saying these things. And imagine if you you are if you are neglecting these things, and they would think that if you aren't using those, um, you aren't using the appellations. That you are speaking to them not as a not as a stranger. You, if you're speaking a, a familiar, in a familiar way to somebody you've just met, and you may be an official person, you know their name. And you, you, you this is why the earlier early on to make these sentences well, well pronounced as well pronounced as as possible. You won't be asking the time. Asking, you know, confusing. Asking, asking a simple question like directions, and <laughs> do you, can I have uh, can I have erections? Can I have erections to the nearest bathhouse, please? Uh huh. So watch hello hello to, to for, for insight into how how poorly pronounced French words can be taken. <sighs> Je m'appelle Suzanne. Comment vous appelez-vous? Oh, yes, I didn't use this form. We will ask. Comment t'appelles-tu? Je m'appelle. Blah, 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 blah. And you see the m. Appel is joined words. It's one word. The m. It's the, the, they, they change form. This is Latin. This is, this is pig Latin. Enchanté. And, if, and you have two E's if it's a female person. Enchanté. Or enchanté. Or enchanté. Enchanté. Merci beaucoup. De rien. I mean, it means nothing, right? No, you're, it's well. It's, it's, it's a de rien. You're welcome. Now, technically, listen, man, woman. They should have in brackets, and I, they don't want to scare people early on. But they could they could translate this into into basic American English, and it means literally it's nothing. Rien, rien. There's even a um, there's a chocolate bar called Rien, and it's it's very very uncalorific. Au revoir. Au revoir. À bientôt. Which, which means roughly off, off, off Wiedersehen, which means until next time. See you, see you soon. But literally, see you soon. It means it means until abiento, abiento means literally. It means until we meet again. Very nice, very nice thing. Um, especially those of us that, that quite like confirmation and clear language. It's very specific. Um, and I wonder, and I wonder um, did that, um, that, um, languages, when you get past the grammar and, and things, that you find that, um, that, um, it, various languages, 
Um, oh, fair, as long as all languages, all languages have uh, a nature, which makes it gives the, means that's why there's a reason to learn them, right? There's nature to them, and they have, they have strengths, they have weaknesses, and some are, some are. Um, if I remember, that French is um, now English as English is is used in in Britain. It is used. It is used to. I, 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 now I'm not very keen on. Um, it, it's used to um, to suggest su suggest um, subtexts, right? But it isn't capable of of clearly expressing abstract concepts. They say. But if you go into you go into um, the Swedish language, it's far far less abstract. It's very straightforward. Now you think um, I'm digressing a little bit. I'm trying to express the the, the, the nature of languages. Now, from what I've heard about German, which I do not speak much of, <laughs> I've had German lessons though. I, I think German is I think German is more interesting than French, oddly. In some ways, is very it is has it's um very uh, it has it's it's built for abstractions to to express abstract concepts. Um, and you can wonder when you see languages that um don't have what that, that really are, are are sadly really lacking certain words for things. Whether or not the 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 creator, you, you can see it says, it says something about the the origin the originators, right? Of course, the originators of French, of Latin, Romans, um, masculine. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So, so I mean, I'll keep this short. Well, it's, of course, it will tell you this. There, there, there are there, 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 this confuses people, and it shouldn't. There are. Um, there are gendered um, forms, um, and in um, French, it's very clear. It, it people that words, certain words, are simply female, male, or neuter. Whereas we we use these an an or a. So we have two we have two forms in in English. So it's gendered or or neuter, whereas they have have the, it's it's the the male or female. Uh, the, the the reason for this uh, it is it is um the the the, the um, further analysis into the French heart. Will be will will take place at a later date. The so masculine and feminine feminine articles before a vowel sound. They, they, these are quite quite uh, or, or mute h. The definite article. Okay, yes, they're using very good linguistic terms. Definite, article, and they're not going into detail with what a definite article means. That this isn't necessarily clear. It isn't necessarily obvious in, when you start reading this. Le, le is used before all singular nouns, masculine and feminine, starting with a vowel or a mute, non aspirate. H. These are, these are linguistic terms. I haven't, I haven't seen, I haven't read the word aspirate. In any of the language books I own, I own a few. H, um, the 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 e or the a of the definite article is dropped, elided. <laughs> when the nouns, I'm already impressed. See, when the noun starts with h, pronounce the vowel that follows the h. Learn gender, m or f. In parentheses for each noun, use those parentheses. 
I mean, I was reading a book in English, right? and some, and it had, it was, it was full, it was had descriptions of the words. I think it, 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 it was what they had was a Kindle version of the book of the book with the the I think oh no, this is a good advert for Kindle language learners wordwise. Even if you speak the language pretty well, you have have wordwise. It underlines words that could be uh, misunderstood. They, but the words they describe that they that they describe that are, are, are supposedly complex, like words like they say accent or intense, uh, accelerate or no those even more commonplace words. Now it's very good that they underline them, but this is these suggestions are for common readers of these books and I've heard this I've heard somebody I know somebody on YouTube who actually um sort of transcribes good yes yeah, smart smart move transcribing words slightly antiquated words antiquated uh, books and changes certain words that m might not be commonly understood and I've read the book the versions the version that um is um the original, right? And I was thinking, oh my god, this is this is the school system. I'm going. To, I've got to make a video on this. A school system that allows these words not to be used, not to be understood, commonly understood. It's shocking. I mean, I, 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 you know, I'm not going. I'm not going. To, I, I read. I read. Uh, I find many words in books. But I don't know. That it happens. Um, another good reason to own a Kindle because you can just underline them and find them out. But um, it you can you can see that the the disintegration of, of the the school system at a, at a sort of low advanced state of of disintegration. It's kind of it's not irritating as much as it's kind of eerie. It's kind of disturbing. Um, some um, people not Kindles. I don't. Kindles. Kindle will save the English language. I do believe it. Um, a, kin a Kindle is a library you can take wherever you go. Yes, I do want sponsorship money. Thank you, because I don't. These videos. These videos aren't monetized. So. Um, Let's let's go let's go forwards in time. Let's go forwards um, quite a bit when it gets more complicated. Telling time. Oh, telling time. Oh, now I, I know I know I've come across um, I've come across um, colloquialisms when it comes to telling time. <laughs> Oh, this can be quite. This can be quite an interesting one because in some sometimes you'll hear colloquialisms, uh, colloquialisms, a description of colloquialisms, um, commonplace slang, slang type ways of saying things. Where people will will use describe the sun as a he or a she rather than actually telling the time. Like it is, it is ten o'clock. Um. Uh, and, and yeah, and people not using o'clock. That that's got and, and using p rather than pm. Ugh, p is pm. It's am. Uh, so excuse me, quelle heure est Excuse me, what time is it? Right. French expressions for telling the time. And I recall that some of the, that there was some confusion about telling the time when I was at school. Something came up that was a bit confusing. French expressions for telling the time always use the third person singular form, être, which, me, être, which means to be, to be, and, and être is spelled E T R E, and it has that that soft sign, uh, which which it, it it's um, very, very it, you wouldn't be able to read Russian words without the soft sign. 
Um, they don't have, but there's no word for the soft sign, damn it. Preceded by the impersonal il, ille. Start by learning the expressions for telling the time on the hour, from one o'clock to eleven o'clock. From two o'clock on Uras. From two o'clock on Uras is plural. You know. The fact there's an S on the end of the word would suggest it's plural, but I suppose they have to be very specific. Um, une, <laughs> il est une heure. It's une heure. It's one o'clock, and this is when it gets. This is this is. I remember when it gets confusing, and it goes into the past again. Yeah. Little bit could be confusing. Um, uh, this is, remember it's um and it goes um so twelve o'clock noon and midnight are expressed in French with midi and and midrit. So midi means half. No, 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 no. I'm wrong. Half. If you say um il est this ten at the me. Th that would say ten thirty. So it's ten and a half. They're using the the Roman forms of. of well, I, I don't. Excuse me. I, I don't think the Romans taught said the time like that. Oh my God! The the, the Romans probably said. Uh, ten, and a half, by counting backwards. So, so ten and a half we meant nine and a half. The, the Romans, the Romans, oh, now I'm not an expert in Roman time, exactly. Roman way of telling the dates. That's why they say, you know, Shakespeare used, you know, the Ides of March. I think did that to make it easy on himself because we would say the 20th of March is the 20th of March. Yeah, no, no. They would say the, they would say, um, um, ten ten days minus March, ten days fallen away from March. They count downwards uh, because uh, because yeah, it has some kind of practical purpose. It's only known to the Roman mind. Twelve o'clock. Noon and midnight are expressed in French with midi and minuit. Il est midi. It's noon. <laughs> yeah, God, I'm digressing again. Now, 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 now. Decline in the English language. I've noticed one. This irritates the, the fuck out of me. When people are saying the word night, instead of evening. Have you seen these things, these evening night routine videos? And it's only the more um, apt video creator. I hate those morning routine videos. They, they say they're funny. I hate them. Um, or they say night routine. When you can see the light, you can see it's broad daylight. No, that is evening. It's quite likely noon. And and it's further specifics. These specifics really do help. They they really do help. You don't have to say these numbers for it helps you if you don't want to, don't want to just can't be bothered to say the number like ten o'clock, two o'clock. So il est midi, it's noon. Il est minuit, it's midnight. Um. Uh, to ask what time something happens, use a killer in the question as follows. <laughs> oh, right. There's a phrase I didn't know. A killer commands le course. At what time does the class start? Now, I. I I would have thought it was la classe means the class, but obviously that means the actual the lesson. At these hours, ten hours. So oh, I get it. 
I know why they, they, they were very, very clear to have that as plural. It's not an S. So any, any time after, after one has the S. Amidi, I mean. To indicate AM and PM, use dumatin, dumatan, dumatin. Um, or de la midi Ah, now getting to where it was. Yeah, now I remember what was a little bit irritating and very, yes, quite complex. Du soir in the evening. Du soir. Il est huit heures du matin. Du matin. It's 8 a.m. 8 in the fucking morning. It's not. It's almost 5 in the fucking morning. Well, I did. I had, I had a, a time of termination for this hangout. Um, so this is a preview of this book. Let's go forwards in time. Let's go to the, the complex. When it gets, let's go to that actual. Uh, oh, the, the exercises. The 10th exercise. This is towards the end of the book. Let's see how, how complicated it gets. Write the adverb. Ooh, look, I can I can highlight it. Adverb that corresponds to each adjective. Now, I know that. Mm. Um, mm. <laughs> so intelligent, constant, di different, evident, gentil. Amical, brief, terrible. It's a very common word. For, which means force. Lant, which means slowly. Uh, slowly, I mean slow. Italian. Like the adverb that corresponds to each adjective. So you say terrible, uh, terrible. Um, uh, constant. Hmm. So what, 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 what adverbs would you add? Uh, why is the adverb that corresponds to each objective? Let's, let's see, see their examples. Sylvie um, répond. Ah, the, the, yes, the adverb. Sylvie, that's a verb. Sylvie répond intelligemment. She responded intelligently. I do believe that means. So, so complex words. So it goes to the intermediate level. Différemment, constamment, évidemment. Evidemment, evident, different, constant. Si the um, pal, pal, palais tu cremant la Russie. Wow, that's a complex. Do you speak Russian fluently? Sadly, I fucking do not. Tu jouis au golf aussi bien que Richard. You play golf as well as which I understood that sentence. Les politiciens, les politiciens parlent moi, moi bien que mon prof. So moi less. Well, less. Okay. My 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 preview of this book will conclude here. Uh, a little bit of, a little bit of, uh, maybe not as in depth a preview as as, as I, I I'll give an, I will do a a preview, plus, as a, as a later date. My my feeling about this book, also the, uh, something I should add, the the um, this is kind of, this is pretty important. Um, the margins. You know this this thing. The margin is is the space the spaces. Very nice, very nicely set out. Uh, should I maybe uh, I could quibble? Uh, is there evidence of of graphics here? Um, the graphic design itself is is 
nice. It can make it a little interesting to have some uh, some comic relief, some uh, the 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 semblance of cartoons. Okay. For, for, for stupid people it does make it kind of a gloss it does make it it does somehow add a little bit of novelty to it but as, as my, my lessons go on and I become increasingly fluent in <laughs> French I'll make I will make my additions to this book I will I will I will um, create little cartoons for my pupil uh, um, you know, learning learning aids, uh, and um, because it, because it, I think it needs some cartoons. It needs some more. It has the graphics are very readable. The, the graphic, the, the layout is very nice. Uh, so um, uh, I can't imagine this being working as a Kindle book. But I might. I may. I may. I may attempt. I may attempt to turn this into a kindle book just to see if it can be done right but um my 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 very brief uh glance at this book is is that it reminds me it reminds me somewhat of, of the most excellent beginners book for spanish learners uh madrigals magic key to spanish it reminds me of that somewhat which is a, that is a very unusual to find a book of that that quality so i think that this um i i uh, i will i will purchase a second copy of this for myself shortly i bought the right book i'm gonna say very good this is this is for this is for people who really intend to have a good start in this language so I, I will conclude this hangout on a, a, a positive note by saying, if you want to learn French, I implore you to consider um, actually buying this book rather than illegally downloading it. This is me signing off. It is morning. It, it, this is this this hangout. I can tell you has been a pleasure for me to to broadcast. Um, and and my, my previously I said I'm I, I plan to do more live hangouts because I don't mean hangouts with other people but they will that that's hopefully with other people but um, uh, yes so this this has been it has been I nocturnal podcasts Esquire uh, signing off I wish you a very good morning or whatever time it is when you observe this podcast videocast <laughs>